All right, we're looking at the interest experiments Excel spreadsheet, and we're going to be seeing or well, focusing on just two aspects of it uh, right now the simple versus compound and the compounding effects sheets. All right, so you should be familiar with simple and compound interest from the junior mathematics and also grade 10 and 11 math literacy. Uh, so we're just going to look at the basics sort of thing here where we've got a simple investment of 10,000 Rand, interest rate of 10%, and taking a look at how we have a difference in how our interest grows as the period goes on. You'll see that there's an advantage with the compound interest, because unlike simple interest, which earns the interest on the principal or capital amount, the initial investment, compound interest is able to earn interest on the interest, and therefore you'll see a much larger growth in the investment as time goes by. If I was to play around a little bit with this a bit more, and I say put in 18,000 Rand and 8% interest, you'll see that once again we've got a marginal improvement here between the simple and compound interests. If you were taking a loan, you would probably be wanting to take simple interest if you were looking at an investment, you'd rather go for compound interest because obviously you don't want the loan to grow faster. You want to be able to pay as little as possible. With compound interest on an investment, you want things to grow like that. Now, moving on, compound interest isn't only applied just once in a year. So, in this example, we're going to keep a, a standard investment or of a million rand or loan of a million rand whichever way you want to look at it. We're going to use investment here as the example. Simple interest simple interest rate, basic interest rate here of 12%. Uh, We're only compounding once. That means that the interest is only calculated once a year and added onto your, your balance at the end of that year. If we take a look, same as before, simple interest, compound interest, same sort of result after one year after two years you start having it growing and as we go along this goes up to 20 years you'll see that there's a fairly large difference between the two when we get to the end of the day but that's only going and compounding once if we were to compound every six months so twice a year on this and we take a look at the results after 20 years there's a sizable difference because now you are earning interest on interest more than once in the year. If we wanted to look at a more realistic sort of example, like a bank account, you compound uh, 12 times a year, that's monthly, and at the moment a investment would probably be getting about 6% interest if you're lucky, especially with a length of investment like this 20 years. There is a a difference right off the bat in year one when we are compounding you already gain an extra 1677 rand 81 cents which is quite good and we keep growing the amount so that in the end you'll see that you have earned almost an extra hundred percent or more than hundred percent of interest over the 20 years that you've applied this which is obviously quite attractive to investors and that's why they offer the interest uh, on a, a monthly basis. Another reason why it's applied to bank accounts is because the bank balance is changing on a very regular basis, especially when it comes to current accounts or savings accounts. And so you don't want to have the situation where the person invests a large sum of money at the beginning of the month, waits a little while and then takes it out. So or you know, waits a month or two and then keeps changing the balance, it's not going to be a very realistic amount. That's why you will find that most bank accounts use compound interest on a monthly basis because of the changing balance. Anyway, in the next video we'll be covering more of the sheet, so please come and find that.